Australia, the beautiful homeland of the once dreadful, now dreadfully hip, Kylie Minogue. Here we are in glorious downtown Surfers Paradise. <laughs> But Kylie's not back down under to top of her tan. She's filming Street Fighter 2 opposite Jean-Claude Van Damme. And she's been working out for the role. It's a great feeling to become more aware of your body. I mean, I'm finding muscles where I didn't know muscles existed. I suppose it is sexy just to be aware of your body. It, in, instead of being something that you're slumped in a chair all day. Since she discovered the joys of skimpy clothing, Kylie's love life has become a tabloid obsession. We all love to read gossip. Can't deny that. I love a bit of it myself, but... There was a time where I seemed to have a different boyfriend every month. I must have been on a roll. <laughs> Probably the best was somehow being linked to alien life form. That was quite uh, imaginative. 26-year-old Kylie's alleged latest flame is none other than the man whose name used to be Prince. She once described him as sex on a stick. I've met Prince a few times and we've, we've hung out. I went to Minneapolis and maybe, maybe, all right, all right, maybe it was the slow dance <laughs> that caused a bit of a stir. I said, look, I'm meant to be the one with flashy moves on the dance floor, okay? <laughs> working it. <laughs> it was a good night. I mean, when I, when I think about occasions like that, I don't have a bad job. Although her current job is a Hollywood action movie, Kylie actually yearns to do a European art movie. As far as directors are concerned, I like Pedro Almodovar. Well, I like the way his, his women are so lunatic. <laughs> we all are, at times. Pedro, where are you? Give me some freaked out role. No me veo yo en una pasarela. Me gustaría ser jefa de prisiones. Now on a club credible record label, Kylie is cool at last. It's been a while coming and there have been one or two image changes along the way. If I parallel my private life with my career, there's a reason for all of those changes. I was the girl next door. Then I was rebelling. Then I was vamping it up. There, it's all what I was feeling at, at the time. So I, I can relate to it. I, I can be a little embarrassed about, about it, but that's part of growing up in public. Maybe I'll look back on this interview and, and in 10 years' time think, oh my God, what was I doing wearing that silver lame top? You never know.